Hey guys, it's Glenn here, and I'm here with the usual crew, Callum, Russ, and, well, obviously me. And I thought we should get a little bit more personal this episode. So, Russ, how are you doing? How have you been? How are you doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah, great answer, great answer. I could really feel the emotion resonating out of your voice. That was wonderful. It didn't answer the question at all, but as a cute Japanese anime girl, I, 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 guess, I guess you don't understand what we're really saying. I, I yeah. can't believe he's, he's caught it too. He has caught the anime girl disease. This is why you don't watch anime. If a drug dealer approaches you and tries to give you anime, tell the closest adult and make sure that adult is not a fucking weeb. Alright? Alright. That, that's a hard thing to ask. So much of society are becoming <laughs> weebs these today. Yeah, society's gone downhill. It's 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 a rough path, but we'll, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Donald, Do- Donald Trump 20, 2016. 2015. Donald Trump will destroy anime. <laughs> <laughs> don't vote for Donald Trump. He'll give uh, him the ring. <laughs> Please don't. Suplex no. anime. <laughs> Donald Trump for SummerSlam. <laughs> oh my god. If an artist, if there's an artist listening to this, could you make a drawing of Donald Trump, like, suplexing Harry? No, just suplexing some cute anime girl while she's smiling. Yeah, just still smiling, even after the suplex. <laughs> Ob- Obama in the background is face palming, please. <laughs> Obama made anime real, and Donald Trump will destroy it. That that is, that is U.S. politics in a nutshell from an Australian. Um, <laughs> yep. Yeah, Russ contracted the anime girl disease, so he will not be speaking for the rest of this very special episode because he is very ill, obviously, and. Uh, it is, uh, the regular episode, episode 11, will be posted on Monday, Tuesday, or something. This will take the usual place, because basically it's all Russ's fault, but yeah. we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't be mad at an, at an anime girl, right? It, it's, yeah. it's impossible. Uh, he, he found a way to escape critique. So yeah, we're gonna talk, we're gonna do usual banter, usual banter, and, uh, talk about the Tokyo Game Show, where particular things happened, very, very good things. Well, the Tokyo Game Show is still going on, because Callum yelled at me for that before. Yeah. But, but you can't say, oh, it's just finished, but we've got so much more, we've got the Persona Live concerts tomorrow, it's gonna be great. Well, it doesn't matter when Persona 5 is delayed. <laughs> <gasps> Oh. That's, a, that's the problem that's the big problem like every good news is just sour it's like oh new it's games like announced at the, at the Persona 5 sour. concert the entire audience is just like <laughs> depressed <laughs> like Lotus like, Juice is on is on stage like rapping the theme and they're just like <laughs> look this isn't the time even you know, even the band's not into it, and like they're just playing super crappily. <laughs> they're like, even we didn't know. They're playing like the really sad songs from Persona, like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the music when like you fail a mission. It's just like ah, oh, no, that's a really happy <laughs> music. Yeah, and then there's that one guy in the back who's trying to get social links, and people are like, dude, this is this isn't this isn't a game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that said, um, Persona 5 got a cool new trailer. It was just the end bit that uh, kind of soured it for many people. Yeah, no, that trailer that trailer was rad. I've was, watched it yeah. multiple, multiple times already. <laughs> it looks like the game is pretty much done. According to the interview afterwards, the game is kind of already done, but I think they thought up new cool things to put in there. And it's just like, oh, shit, guys, we need more time. They just completely forgot to actually make the second half of the game. It happens yeah. sometimes. <laughs> they forgot the personas. Yeah, they just for- completely forgot. They were like, oh, we're making a Persona game? I thought this was <laughs> Catherine too. <laughs> <laughs> just, the, just the director was like, how's Persona 5 coming along, guys? Oh, uh, did, you, did you say Persona? <laughs> Perso- I, thought that was, I thought that was the guys in Wayne B. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, no, they're just, they're just like making a dragon cra- Dragon's Crown 2. It's like, well, what are we meant to do? Well, uh, Persona 5's delayed, guys. <laughs> we need to make it into Persona. Sorry. Yeah, that happened, and there was this really cool part that I mentioned to you before where it looks like they're, uh, they, they go into these paintings, and it's really cool because it's like, 
this kind of thief thing. Yeah. Like, fucking just Indiana Jones, the fucking bloody <laughs> persona. <laughs> persona, or Indiana Jones version, essentially, and it looks yeah, really yeah. cool. Like they're, like, they're running away from a the boulder. boulder. It's, yeah. the most, it, it's such, <laughs> such silly, silly bullshit. I love it. Yeah, I know. Persona is one of those series that gets really serious in some parts, and some parts is just, what the hell are you doing? It's like, they like, turn into mice at one point. They fuck. They play the fucking. They play video games with cats. It's great. Yes, it's great. Like um, when you do training, like you were, uh, what you were, uh, the thing you punch is like one of those like cats climbing stands, and the cats just <laughs> sitting there like yelling motivational things at you, <laughs> just playing Rocky in the background. Yes, yes. <laughs> I I really I I absolutely adore that contrast. It's kind of like similar to. Metal Gear Solid Five, where like yeah, it's yeah. kind of it acts as though it's serious. Like the characters and the story takes itself so seriously, but some of the stuff that happens is so goddamn silly that 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 it's just, it makes for such a good contrast. It's fucking great. It's fucking yeah, great. yeah. Like one moment you're being told this tragic story about revenge, and next time you're getting hit on the head with a box, and it's making a silly cartoon noise. No. <laughs> You're just murdering someone, and then you fulton them into the air. Yeah, yeah. Just send them this flying with this silly balloon bullshit. It's great. <laughs> did you did you actually know that like the fulton is like an actual real thing? Is it? Yeah, it's like it's it's you know obviously exaggerated in Metal Gear, but yeah. it's a real real thing. Oh, that's awesome. I lo- I love you know, how um if you have D horse in it. Yeah. Then uh, when you fly off in the helicopter, um, oh, the, no, yeah. uh, the horse just <laughs> gets just, a balloon strapped to its back. He just makes it's a like, witty sound. <laughs> yeah. The ho- horse is stra- extracts it. It's like, I just look out the window and it's flying towards the sky. Yeah, we, we, sh- we should be talking about more anime related things, but in reality, Metal Gear... It's Metal like, Gear is anime. It's Metal Gear's anime. Metal Gear is really anime. It really is. Yeah, they even made a Nendoroid for it. it, it that... Oh, fucking did they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Didn't know about that. <laughs> it's it's strangely cute. It shouldn't be allowed to exist. Oh, it exists though. There's also the uh, the Ace Attorney anime. Yes, that got announced. Which can't wait for that to probably not be the greatest thing in the world, even uh, though it could be. It, it could be. Yeah. Um. I'm hopeful. I'm always hopeful. Um. Because I, the problem with mystery anime is that so many of them forget that the core thing is audience participation. You want to be able to show them all of the clues so that they can solve it themselves and then get that sense of reward when they get it right or fate or get it wrong. No, yeah, you want to engage engage the audience in some way because although the main characters are the ones dealing with the mystery, the audience also wants to be there with them, like, yeah. making their own sort of ideas. Just like how in any regular story, it's like, you predict what's gonna happen, and if you get it wrong, you get it right, it doesn't really matter, because the speculation was the fun part. Yeah, um, it's not set in um, the world of Ace Attorney that we're used to. It's set in it the... Not? Yeah, it's set in um, the uh, next game's world. Which is uh, kind of, I think it's kind of based on Native America, sort of thing. Uh, um, I it's very like not, spiritual, not notice that based sort of story. But then uh, Ace Attorney has been getting weird recently since um, they've gone back in time several times, and I uh, don't worry about it. A load of weird <laughs> shit, I guess you could call it. That's the best kind of shit, though. <laughs> Well, yeah, but um, I mean, it's it, it, it could take, be good. It makes it interesting. You gotta believe. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I definitely think it's gonna be good. Like, um, I was really, I was really surprised because, like, I'd never really paid attention to Tokyo Game Show before. I don't did, at, the, at other ones. Did they ever announce like as many anime as they did before at, at this one? Because they announced like four or five different things. It was um, pretty fucking ridiculous, to be honest. They don't usually. Um, yeah, it's kind of rare. Like, as, to be honest, an Ace Attorney anime and a Gravity Rush anime and a Monster Hunter anime, which we'll talk about in a moment, those are all weird things that nobody could have predicted. Like, yeah, I don't really see the Monster Hunter anime really working out very well. <laughs> uh, well, the Monster Hunter anime is based on Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter stories, which isn't oh, actually yeah. out yet, but... Well, I guess since it'll have an actual story this time around, I suppose. You, you kind of assume from that, that that 
title is implying it'll have a story, maybe. You'd hope and not, so, not, yeah. not, not just you hunting monsters and being like, oh man, look at this cool-ass fucking cloak I got. And the other guys, but look at this cloak. And you're just like, but my cloak, though. <laughs> <laughs> that is the ins- oh my god. See, monster, it's it's the be- it's kind of like Team Fortress 2. It's like, you gotta get the hats. Yeah, like if they ever made all a about Monster Hunter 4 anime, it would literally be a fashion show. Oh, that would be the best. <laughs> I mean, like it, we now we now have uh, Smoke Swede twenty four seven coming on to the sc- onto the stage. Uh, he is we- he is wearing. Oh god, that is inappropriate. Um, never mind. This is the end of the anime. <laughs> bye. <laughs> it uh, seems to be the liver of a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> he is wearing the s- the head of his defeated enemies. It is quite attractive. I must say, I will contact you. <laughs> there was actually a manga for Monster Hunter. Um, can't remember the name of it, but um, I love. Probably I mon- loved- maybe Monster Hunter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, there was Monster Hunter Arage or something. But okay, um, yeah. it was this kid like going, "Oh, we need to hunt the monsters because they're terrorizing villages." And I was just like, "That's not how. That's not why I to destroy monsters in Monster Hunter. I took it for that sick loot." <laughs> See, I'd love just, a monster hunter anime where it's just It's just it's just like you hope you hope that the monsters murder the villagers so you can steal their clothes. <laughs> 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 oh. But yeah, I, I I don't know. That it could it could be good. It could always be good, but you know, video game adaptations uh, Yeah. Not not the best not the best track record ever because they never really try anything interesting. Ended up being too video gamey instead of, you know, adhering to the new medium that they're going to but yeah ace attorney can definitely work monster hunter uh but maybe um, maybe no, no. it can it just needs to um t- t- needs to take its own path yeah as you said but i'm looking forward to seeing the cats as um anime characters the persona 5 anime was announced too it, but it got what? delayed until 2020 <laughs> 50 <laughs> don't t- taunt me taught me glenn uh Bad things happen to good people. Yeah, and good games especially. So it, 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 still, at least they'll get to polish it even more. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like I don't care. Nice that game's gonna be fucking amazing. And I can't polished, wait. But I can deal with it. What do you What do you think about like the the way the narrative appears to be moving or not moving? The the way the narrative appears to be in contrast to like the previous Persona games for P five. Um. Well, it seems to be taking things from different games. Like, um, for instance, the school transforms into some sort of demonic spiritual place, just like in Persona 3. Um, yeah. Although, the, uh, the thing with Persona 3 is that that was the main dungeon, and then you just occasionally went out to other places. But I very much think uh, it's going to be the case where the paintings are the dungeons, and then that's just oh, yeah. something else. That was the re- that was the really cool part of the trailer where they went in the paintings, and I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think, oh, those are the dungeons. I did not think that at all. And that was really a good speculation on your part. Yeah, I, um, because they do seem to be playing up the paintings idea, which of course plays into the uh, whole Arsene Lupin master thief. Yeah, like sort the of like idea. the thievery thing. It's like, oh, you got to go steal those famous paintings. Yeah, and just for the hell of it. Some people, like, said, oh, maybe they all need money, but then there was a tra- there was a part of that trailer where they're running out throwing the money into the sky, so... <laughs> oh, it's gonna be like Yakuza! It's gonna be like fucking Yakuza! <laughs> at, at, the e- at the end... Okay, so, like, there's this running theme in the Yakuza games. This is relevant, because Yakuza 6 was announced. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, Kiwa- the and uh, remake of the first one. Yeah, that too. It is, Yakuza is the most ridiculous series. It has the most ridiculous story. It is the best fucking thing. It's people. T- it's fucking burly, burly men fucking taking their shit off. And if, if you don't have a tattoo like a true Yakuza, you're a fucking bitch. But like I was saying, there's a running theme in the game where at the end, like they always fight on top of Tokyo Tower, no matter what. You're at the end. You always fight there. It's the fucking best. And uh, at the end of one of the games, like money rains down on people. And that's why it brought me to that. So that is the reason that transition was kind of weird. But if you play the Yakuza games, you know, and you should play the Yakuza games. And there's been a remake for the first one, like Callum get you should play Yakuza. Yeah, if the remake I, I ever gets Yakuza. Um, ported over to uh, oh, you're right. Oh, the please West, buy Yakuza Six. Please then. buy Yakuza Six. For Yakuza Five. Oh, buy Five. Yeah. I was, 
Whoops. Five's the only one that's going to be confirmed. Six yeah. for 2020. I never, I never thought it would happen. That was like back. Uh, was that 20, uh 2012, Yakuza Five came out, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, in Japan, but like it wasn't confirmed to be like getting a localization or just a release in the states or foreign countries until like this yeah. year. Yeah, I think it was either E3 or just before E3, because this year it it's it was so weird this year at E3 because they start they've started to realize that if you release information on your game at E3, then there's the chance of it getting bogged down by a larger surprise announcement. Oh yeah, that is, so that is the absolute worst. We had this ridiculous two weeks before the conference where everyone was just announcing shit. It's like, <laughs> we're not at E3 yet. <laughs> just, you're just ruining all the surprises, guys. Even fucking Fallout 4 did it. Fallout yeah, 4 was fuck. the one that everyone else was scared of being swamped by. Yeah, and then Fallout 4 was just like, everyone else is doing it, guys. Let's join in. <laughs> Let's uh, show our teaser trailer like a week early. It's from- why? That's kind of that's kind of similar to the Gravity Rush anime, which is another thing that got announced. Oh yeah, yeah. Tokyo Game. Like nobody fucking noticed. Yeah. Like um, I didn't even notice until <laughs> like I saw like a news article and I was like, wait, when the fuck did this happen? Yeah. Um. It was so like nonchalantly. Um. Because of course they uh, announced that they're releasing Gravity Rush, which was one of the best games on PS Vita for PS4, and then doing a sequel of it. And then um, during that speech, because we were listening to an English translator who was kind of bored with the whole thing and speaking quite in <laughs> drone, and mm. um, yeah, and I just heard the words like animated production, and like I wrote on Twitter, Gravity Rush anime, but I, then I saw nobody else mentioning it. <laughs> but I like had a question mark anyway, because I just wasn't sure, because they didn't make a big deal out of it, they didn't put anything on screen, and yeah, so... There's going to be a Gravity Rush anime, whether that's a film, OVA, or TV series. Since it was done so subtly, and, like, it wasn't hyped up like all the others. All the others were hyped up, and, like, they made sure to specify TV production. Yeah, yeah. Like, that was a so big part it, it, of it. It'll probably be, like, maybe an OVA special that, like, comes with the sequel game, or the remake, maybe. Yeah, Regardless, yeah, um, still really happy, because I thought Gravity Rush was more dead than my great-grandparents, because <laughs> I, I didn't even know anyone else who had played Gravity Rush before I met you, Callum. I didn't even realize you'd played it until today. Gravity Rush is so good. It's such an interesting concept, and it was so cool, and I didn't, like, I just, nobody cared. Nobody cared about it. It was super sad. Yeah, it's one of those, um... Uh, Sony has uh, a studio in Japan who just make these absolutely awesome games, and Gravity Rush is one of them. I think, I think Freedom Wars was another one of those. I haven't, um, I haven't played Freedom Wars actually. I should. It did look like something I'd be into. Uh, yeah, that was partially made by them as well. But yeah, they've got this awesome visual design to everything, and so they come up with these great ideas like they're doing uh, Last Guardian as well and other stuff and god I'm so excited for a Gravity Rush 2 and the anime if they get a good staff behind that because um, if you don't know about Gravity Rush sorry for going on about it no well, th- this is the point go look up Gravity Rush and yeah, play it um, but essentially you play as a girl called Cat and basically you press a button and then instantly gravity disappears, just for you, just for you. And then you uh, point in a direction that gravity now goes in, and then you fly towards that at the speed of well, acceleration of gravity. And you need to manipulate those mechanics to be able to attack your enemies and do all these cool things and travel the world. It's amazing. It is It is amazing. Like a saw. Uh... Move on to the other anime, the fourth one that was announced because we talked about the all we talked about all the other ones. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The grand the grand blue rush or wait was grand it? blue yeah, grand fantasy blue, grand blue fantasy. I was still in gravity rush. Couldn't get off of yep. it. Yeah. Uh, grand blue fantasy anime, which you will see Aniplex of Japan. I'm not sure about if the U.S. will really focus on it much. Advertising the shit out of that. That oh, is going to yeah. be the next year. <laughs> yes, yeah, Psy Games basically have too much money than should be allowed and are probably paying a lot for this anime because um 
basically the thing about Psy Games games is they have amazing art because they um, the mentioned the, that they did uh, Bahamut. Oh yes, uh, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, Psy Games they created Bahamut, Rage of Bahamut, which was adapted into Shingeki no Bahamut Genesis, and will be the, uh, adapted again into uh, Minaria Friends. I think it is Minaria Friends. No, they're more great. than just friends. That title is a fucking lie. <laughs> they're totally gay. I was so excited for that. And then there's uh, there's also the sequel, the actual sequel to Bahamut. Yeah, yeah. Like so. Yeah. That that's the thing with Psy Games and why I think they're a terrible thing for the games industry, but an amazing thing for the anime industry in <laughs> yeah. that they cannot promote those games using gameplay because they are essentially Mafia Wars. Of Farmville, or basically they're yeah, just, just they're <laughs> shitty mobile games that gameplayless games. Yeah, if you're into those, Psy Games is uh, yeah, go check it out. Yeah, <laughs> but the and by that don't <laughs> go go play Gravity Rush. There's go play games a play. good video game. Yeah, yeah. But the good uh, the good thing is the entire um, Psy Games was established by designers from uh, Square Enix doing Final Fantasy stuff. So these things are amazing art. And that's being translated over to anime, and these anime productions are just so highly funded because they need them to fu- to uh, bring people to play their stupid mobile games. Yeah, and fucking, I mean, Bahamut was like a big fantasy adventure that was yeah, like unmoving, just never stopped. It was great. So like, this is another thing to look forward to because it's the same people, and it's yeah. it's another like open world fantasy type thing. And, you know, those have, like, limitless possibilities. Can you just do whatever the fuck you want? Yeah, it's it's impossible to straight up adapt uh, some of these side games games. But it does mean that, okay, director, here's the list of things we want you to put in there. Do a really cool story for us, thanks. Yeah, Bahamut, Bahamut was really good with that, with the variety of things. Fucking, like, episode one, big event fight with a thing, introduction yeah. of characters. Episode three zombie things episode six crab monster in the middle of the sea episode seven you're talking with like uh very f- famous religious individuals uh can't remember their particular names uh uh yeah i don't remember yeah the anime versions of them uh it's just it's a fucking big ambitious adventure yeah, and not and many shows em- emulate that and i hope grand blue will be that type of thing again yeah and all that happened was just that one of those cards would be like the zombie girl or something. It's like, okay, now let's put her into this awesome story. And let's make her one of the best parts of the show. She is great. Yeah, she is fucking... I love those types of straightforward characters. They're just like, yeah, you're a fucking idiot. Why are, why are we dancing around this? Let's just go. <laughs> but yeah, Grand Blue Fantasy is, um, from what I can tell, like, space pirate airship thing. Cool. Those are just words cool. that yeah. Came those are to mind. if you put all those words together, they it sounds really good, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, I should what, be in what? marketing. Just good, oh, my... cool airships. Wow. <laughs> I should buy this. I should give this <laughs> money. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's all the anime. So now it's gonna be more video game bullshit. But video game bullshit related to anime. Wow. Because this is a special episode because we don't want to talk about anime because well we need to save that for the real episode yeah the prestigious so episode 11 yeah it's gonna be great uh anime girl russ will still be not used to be being back to normal so that'll be cute it'll be adorable no way <laughs> they're making a attack on titan game that actually looks good and not garbage like the last one well okay anyway not really good um yeah uh well it looks good i think that's gonna be the sort of game where if you pass the controller to a friend and say Go on, play it, and I'll watch. I think that'll be quite good. But mm. I'm just not confident about what we've been shown. Like, it looks awesome, but I can't see that translating to uh, Cause, gameplay. Because, like, the entire concept of the maneuverability gear, which I think that's what it's called. I'm not the biggest Attack yeah. Titan fan, I'm sorry. Uh, even though I've watched it twice. <laughs> uh, twice. Um, I watched it with my stepdad for the second time. Uh, okay. Uh, and, uh... It doesn't translate to video games well, because that is really hard to fucking do. The maneuver- maneuverability. Yeah, game. yeah. Like, and make it into a gameplay thing. That is, like, 
a fucking task I would not give to any developer. The only uh, developer that I've seen actually succeed with the maneuverability gear was a fan game. And if you and if you type, oh in yeah, that, that atta- fan game was pretty goddamn good. Yeah, if you type in Attack on Titan game, even though it's TGS, even though Omega Force, um, un- like un- one of Koei Tecmo's biggest developers, even though they announced it. Still, top of the search rankings, that fan game. <laughs> it won't get defeated. And it can't... I don't think uh, Omega Force can pull this off. I just... I love Omega Force, but they're Dynasty Warriors guys. They're- yeah, like I said before, that is the complete opposite of what, like, Attack on Titan is, which is, like, you have to take down one enemy at a time really slowly. In the Dynasty Warriors, you're slashing, like, a thousand dudes with yeah. one sword swing. <laughs> <laughs> It's just, I just can't see it working out. Yeah, it looks cool though. We'll see. It, it we'll looks see. cool. I'm gonna. I'll probably like watch like let's plays of it just so I don't have to buy it myself. Watch it, uh, but yeah, um, yeah, definitely, well, definitely not buying it. <laughs> yeah, I, I I refuse to believe the gameplay will be good. I'm not as optimistic as you about it. Um. Yeah, I'm not optimistic but, at all though. Well, I mean. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Never mind. We're both pessimistic about it. Yeah. But, but uh, I want to talk about I want to talk about the most important video game. Okay. okay. Callum, I need you to I need you to get down to earth with me really quick. Okay. Criminal Girls Two. <laughs> oh God! I wrote this oh. on our notes, but I didn't think you'd be the one to bring it up. Oh no! I I was gonna bring it up. <laughs> I was gonna bring it up. I I didn't want to put it on the notes because I was wondering if you remembered it because I wanted to surprise you with it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Criminal Girls is this uh. This game where some girls are bad girls and they're criminals. So you capture them and then you punish them by, like, tapping the screen and they lose and, uh, clothes and stuff yeah. like that. Yes. It's great. I love it. <laughs> it's the best. Criminal it's Girls. It's the only video game you should play. A weird game. It's a really, really weird game. When Nissa brought it over, didn't they, uh... They, didn't say, they um, censor it? They did censor it quite a bit. Um, I think they were aiming for a, a very specific um, uh, rating, and they because they just wanted to avoid an R eighteen rating. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you do not want that on your game. Yeah. No. They uh, got an M instead. So uh, that that tells you enough about even though they censored it, they still managed to get an M. <laughs> Yeah, it's a it's a great video game. It's a great video game. It's the only video game that matters. I mean, there's also Don Gun Rompa, but Don Gun Rompa Vital Three. You know, I talked on like an earlier Anyfix episode. I talked about how I went over a friend's place and I played some of the another episode or what is it called? Uh, uh yes. Yeah. Um, girls Danganronpa, despair something. Dis- yeah, Ultimate Despair Girls. That's it. And. Seeing seeing the developers for Dungeon Rampa move into like new territory, like do actual like gameplay stuff, it, it's not that good. <laughs> uh, what the um, another the, episode? The, 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 yeah, the way the story is presented, the characters are a lot less. Uh, they're a lot more one note type of characters, and like at like whenever you fight the the main antagonist, it is uh, the game's too easy. They set it oh, up okay. especially because they wanted to make it easy for new players who were just getting into that genre. Because like original Dongarampa fans, it was just a visual novel thing, so they wanted yeah, to make it yeah. easier for like new people. And the char- like the antagonists were just really, it was just really done poorly. Like the very end, they'd give them some sort of like defining characteristic, some backstory, but it was just at the very end, and it just seemed like a really rushed thing, and it was really disappointing, especially since like the characters from all the other games were so lovable and actually, you know three-dimensional to more of a much better extent. Yeah, um, they could, like, Spike Chunsoft, the developer, is a big team, but the thing is, they, um, they split off the Danganronpa team, so they've got their own, like, crew of people just called Team Danganronpa, Mm -hmm. and it's, I think they got bored of doing visual novels like that. It's, it's a decent game. If you're a Danganronpa fan, you'll like it still. Oh yeah, I'm still, I'm still gonna play it. Just because like, uh, uh, it's that it's that natural extension on from Dangan Romper where we were kind of left with this mysterious cliffhanger about the world. Yeah, it's it's really just it, the the aesthetic of the entire excuse me the aesthetic of the entire thing just sells it. 
Oh, like yeah. it keep it keeps that even like makes things like sort of de- deformed just for that. It's still it's still a pretty good game. It, it has like all the usual over the top Danganronpa plot twist. It's still good, and it's like and it, it's an, it's an interesting like side story to all of it because you you get to see like the original characters uh like family members a bit, and you get to read notes on them and stuff. It, so it's pretty interesting. But mm. the game that just got announced, Danganronpa v3 or whatever yeah. definitely more looking more forward to that i just uh, found out that uh th- um because they showed the splash screen and everyone just went oh don't give up a v3 apparently there was also a uh, subtitle underneath it um, it's the official full name is don't give v3 a new semester for everyone's killing life that is amazing that is i love amazing. that that is so Danganronpa. I fucking love it. I didn't know. I did not know that existed. I did not know that was a thing. Yeah, I just read up and I was like, "Oh shit, that's great." <laughs> um, I love that tra- the trailer that they did. How um, they uh, basically announced it for um, that it was coming to PS4 and PS Vita with like Monokuma um, and uh, Bonomi, who was the character in Danganronpa Two. And just the, just a little bit of banter between them. Then they showed up one of the class trials and then replaced all of the characters with different versions of Monokuma just to use as placeholder. <laughs> Danganronpa is so good. It's so the anime's not, but the, Danganronpa's yeah. so good. The ani- well, that's the thing, the anime took out the one core bit of the game and that's why I'm worried about the Ace Attorney anime because you it need... It took out the engagement... Yeah, you need to be able to in the basically in the game you spend all of your time talking to people and finding out small mysteries uh, about them, so that you know enough about each and every single person because you've spent hours talking to them that you can be able to deduce a bit of information about who killed them just from oh this guy said this about their past once, or this guy yeah, is that sort of things. person. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, um, they couldn't do... I don't think it was even possible for them to have done it with the, no, with the animation. not particularly, but it could have been better than what it was. And it, it could was have, awful. yeah. It yeah. was awful. Let's, let's not talk about it. I don't think it was awful, but it was just alright. <sighs> it wasn't. I guess it wasn't awful. It was awful, awful in it... comparison to the game, I think. Like yeah, maybe if that's you compare the experiences, it but it's still like I, I still feel like even if I had watched that all by itself, I still would not have liked it nearly that much. But yeah, I guess that's I guess I guess that's about it. I feel like we should wrap up the special episode in a little bit, unless you have some more things to say. Um, could just like boost through uh, some of the other information, like uh, yeah, sure, let's yep. fucking do it. Okay, Extreme vs. Force, uh, which is a new Gundam fighting game, uh, is going oh, to Oh shit, have... oh, man, I'm an idiot. I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have tried to end it, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's going to feature the mech from Reconquista and new Gundam Orphans mech, they announced at the very end. <laughs> Callum, Callum, you gotta, you gotta realise what you just said. It's gonna feature this mech from this show that nobody watched. <laughs> Like you did, did you even did you even finish G Reco? I didn't. Fi- I, I'll finish it someday. <laughs> I t- I don't think G Reco is as bad as people. No, it's not. It's it not bad. It's not bad. It's just so very not good. Uh, yeah. Um. <laughs> I think Yoshi uh, Yoshiyuki Tomino, who is the original creator of Gundam, and then went back to do Recon Gwista. I think he's gone a bit mad. He's like, always been crazy. In the original in the original Gundam series, there was this whole like dynamic where people would switch teams, but they'd switch them d- dramatically and there'd be some big motion behind it. Recon Grista doesn't even make any sense. You know, it's not even no, sure very... like what side people are on because they just switch yeah. so much without any big deal being made about it. Yeah, Jiraka was very bad at like narrative cohesence. Yeah, like, for some reason, like, okay, our main character gets kidnapped, and it's like, okay, so he's he's not on their team, then, like, within two episodes, without making a big deal out of it, he's suddenly on their team, without any persuasion. Yeah, it wasn't great, but the game itself, though... Oh, the game game itself. Yeah, it does look pretty fucking rad. 
which is really surprising because like there are other Gundam like fighter games that have existed before, but they were only Japan essentially. And I've seen a few of like the gameplay on YouTube and like dark places of the internet we don't talk about. Yeah. And this one you told me, which I didn't know about this, uh, is getting immediately localized to North America, which is um, ridiculous. I whether it's it very immediate. Surprising. Is to be well, not, question, well, but um, not, not immediate. You get what I mean. But yeah, yeah, they've um, announced like for a Gundam game as well. Like I remember um, seeing live tweets and people said, "Oh, this is that game that we're never going to play." And then somehow, yeah, coming to the US. Okay, great, awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. Also, um, breaking news: um, mm-hmm. Kekai Sensen's last episode is airing on October third. Were you just on ANN or something, you piece of shit? I've got Twitter open and I just saw it. Oh, for it. fuck's sake. Alright, everybody, everybody clap. Everyone just give a clap. Because they, finally they finally found a time slot. Also, my prediction came right. I predicted that um, that uh, Kekai Simpson's next episode, final episode, would air in the gap between the two seasons when time slots will be free. And I nailed it. So, I take all that credit. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty decent, decent protection, I'd say. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully it's uh, either conclusive or we get a season two at the end. <laughs> yeah, either either is fine because I don't yeah. want to read that manga, especially since no, the no, manga do, has no, nothing to do with do, it. Do not do not read the manga. I tried, Callum. I tried. It is the <laughs> Re Matsumoto approved the anime so much. You read the manga, you're just gonna be like, "What is this? What is this?" <laughs> you're, you're gonna you're gonna realize how shitty of a writer the Trigun Arthur really is. Yeah. Uh, He's one uh, of those authors that like gets really lucky with his anime adaptations. Yeah, <laughs> but that was the, that was fucking cool. First breaking news. Yeah, on yeah. Fix the special episode. And now watch what? Do you, what this do you gets... think? What do you think, Russ? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> now uh, watch as this episode gets released, like in two days, when everybody oh. knows already. No. It goes up today, though. Will it? That's the entire point of it. Oh, cool. Yeah, dumbass. I didn't know that, so yeah. We're, Hi, we just future dated people. the audio. Yep. Okay, so this has been episode 10.5 of the Anyfix podcast. Remember to rate us on iTunes and download us there and give us a review where you say who your favourite Anyfix member is. <laughs> just Spoiler, it's it, me. What a. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> Would appreciate that. Thank you very much. You know, give the video a like. Tell your friends about the podcast and whatnot because, uh, yeah, I don't know. So, you know tell them that not it's many, not, the best not podcast podcasts. out there. Yeah, tell them it's the best anime podcast. It doesn't even need to be true. Just tell them that. Yeah, anyway. just tell them lies. Who cares? Just do it for us. <laughs> oh, yeah. really though? Hope you enjoyed this special episode, even though it only happened because of a mess up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, maybe we'll do it again if enough people like it and whatnot. But, yeah, until then, see you next time. Bye! Okay, guys, sense a new episode, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hype. <laughs> when, do we leave it? when do we end this? End it. End it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Quick stop. <laughs>